good morning from day two of our Universal Orlando section of the holiday. We are currently doing the cute little walk from the hotel, the Royal Pacific, which is where mum and dad stayed last night. Did you like it? Yes. The beds were very, very comfy. Good, oh, good. She did say this morning she didn't want to get out of bed, but tough, she's got to get out. <laughs> and yeah, we're currently on our way to Universal, to the theme parks, to spend another day there. But sadly, Mum's day has already been ruined because she got a bacon and egg, like omelette croissant, but when she opened it, it got cheese in it. Didn't say it. And she can't eat cheese. To be fair, you probably can't eat anything in there anyway, because no, isn't croissant good. made of milk? Or is it not? Probably. Yeah. Oh dear. The camera is fogging up so you can't really see much of this, but this is our walk from the hotel to the theme parks. Like this is where we were yesterday coming back from the theme parks, back to the hotel. We went on the water taxi and it's all included in your stay because the hotel's so, so close to Universal. But you can walk it like we have done today. And it's just coming up to 8am and for people that are staying on Universal property Gosh, sorry this camera is fogging up again <laughs> You can't see anything But you get early entry an hour before open We're officially in the park at early entry We were going to head to Hagrid's to do that roller coaster, But um, when we got there it was 60 minutes and we're not waiting 60 minutes No ride in the world would make me want to wait 60 minutes um, Mum and Matt have gone on it though, they're happily going to wait 60 minutes but me and Soph went on the flight of the hippogriff which is like a, a children's roller coaster and now we're in a Harry Potter shop and looking at the merch and Dad's just waiting around somewhere in Hogsmeade <laughs> in the shade having a nice break. They've got some really nice Christmas stuff here, Look at those tree decorations. Stockings. Last time we were here, so we've got this. And we like these as well. We're not sure if they're like massive mugs or if they're vases, vase vase, however you call it. <laughs> oh, that's a nice cushion. I always love this view. And it's amazing coming at early entry because there's like, usually it's packed full of people here taking photos, but there's not really, there's a couple of people walking along the bridge, but not really anyone taking photos. But that is amazing. Okay, I'm back into Hogsmeade and chill. We just, that's the ride we just rode, Flight of the Hippogriff. We have just got the Hogwarts Express over to Universal Studios. Just before that though, Mum and Matt went on Hagrid's. It was fantastic! They loved it. Matt, you liked it, didn't you? It was very good. Yeah, they said it was amazing and they want to go on it again. So, that makes me really want to go on it. So hopefully I'll be able to go on it a bit later. We're heading over to E.T. And this is the Simpsons area. We don't really like Simpsons. We're not really a Simpsons family. Never watched it. But I have been informed that Simpsons has predicted many life events on their TV show. They are time travellers apparently. <laughs> so surprisingly, Mum and Matt have just gone on the Simpsons ride. So the three of us have now gone into Quickie Mart for some aircon and some look at the merchandise. This is all Simpsons themed, isn't it? All nice bags. Mmm, donuts. Well, it's not even 10 o'clock yet, so I don't think I'll be having a donut yet. <laughs> Dad just picked up this t-shirt. <laughs> I love that, sugar daddy. <laughs> Sophie just randomly disappeared and she's come back with a donut. Not just any size donut, a massive donut. It smells nice. That is huge. That was $10. <laughs> Worth every penny. You want some? <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, we all seem to enjoy it. <laughs> it is really nice. 
<laughs> We're just about to meet Shrek. Where's Donkey? <laughs> hey Shrek! <laughs> Dad loves Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Thank you Marilyn. We have just come out of the Born Stuntacular, which is like a live stunt show, which takes you sort of through the stunts and the stuff that they do in the films. And it was really good. It was such a good show, really good stunts. Actually engaging, not boring. And I, was, I said before I came in, I haven't seen a Bourne film for years, so it was nice to see that again. But I would definitely recommend going if you come here. We're just sat down having some lunch in the Simpsons area, so everything is themed to the Simpsons. So the three chickens of the family, myself, mum and dad, are waiting for Sofa Matt to come off of that roller coaster there, which is the Incredible Hulk. And then once they finish that, we're going to head back and chill. ridden it the Hulk poster and now we are heading back to the Royal Pacific to get mum and dad's overnight bags because they obviously checked out as I said we used a room for express passes which have come in handy I will say they have been very good I'll definitely talk more about that maybe in another video or at the end of this video but yeah we're going to get the stuff and then we're just gonna get an uber back to our hotel back at disney springs which is last, obviously our main hotel that we've we've used for the two weeks but these last two days have been amazing but we are exhausted so the last we've got three three full days left four in total but, but yeah our last three days are going to be more sort of a chill maybe do things that we you know want to do at the end of our holiday maybe some shopping some universal merchandise and there is some food in there as well which is a chocolate brownie which I've eaten most of already but it was very nice. I also became one of those people who wear lanyards and pouches to put their universal cards in. <laughs> people make fun of those types of people but I think it came in quite handy. On our way back we've just walked into the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium that does like milkshakes and sundaes and stuff and Sophie's just looking at potentially getting one while me and dad are ready for bed <laughs> they do have like an actual to-go shop that does candy and chocolate and merchandise there's a t-shirt there's quite a few t-shirts here this really reminds me of um, honey jukes in um, wizarding world what is that? Is that cheesecake? Oh, confetti. It looks very nice. But that's way too much sugar. That is. There's a whole slice of cake on the top of that. So how much was that? $16. $16. But it's worth it though. Just heading back to the Royal Pacific now with this lovely view again. We've decided to walk because it says it's an eight minute walk and it, yeah, it's, it is really quick. Uh, Mum and Dad have decided to get the boat, the water taxi back, which we think will take longer. Nice and shaded. Yeah. 
you can walk to quite a few resorts here there's a few there I think there's also the Hard Rock this way there's Cabana Bay, the Sapphire Falls and there's our one which is the Royal Pacific which is just behind those trees there Hey everybody! So it's the next day. I can't actually remember the last thing I filmed yesterday. I think it was us going back to the hotel from our other hotel. So from the Royal Pacific back to the Jury Plaza, which is obviously our main hotel. But it is the next day and our last three, well, four, our last four days are essentially just us chilling, doing maybe some things that we ha didn't get a chance to do earlier in the holiday doing a bit of shopping and just relaxing <laughs> so as it's the it's three o'clock i think yeah five past three in the afternoon and all we've done today is gone to the premium outlets on vineland which does like nike adidas vans converse uh, and they've got the disney character warehouse which is like a discounted store where they have maybe old stock, discontinued items that are heavily discounted. And I'm talking like 50%, 70% off, really good prices. <laughs> so I thought I'd start this day, well, this part of the vlog for this day, showing you some things that I have bought from the holiday, not just from the outlets, but from like the Disney stores, from the Universal stores, and yeah, just things I've bought. I've just realized as I'm doing this, I have lost a bag in mum and dad's room. So I did buy some other stuff from Disney Springs, but because they left before us, they ended up walking back to the hotel before us, this was a few days ago, they took my Coca-Cola merchandise. <laughs> so I can't show you that, but I will show you that probably in another video, maybe at the end of the holiday when I get home or something. So I did buy some stuff from the Coca-Cola store because as you all know, well, you might not know, um, Coke is my favorite drink. I love cherry coke is my absolute favorite and yeah i've wanted to i always thought if i come to disney springs i'm gonna buy some coke merch because it's my favorite drink but i will show you that just not now <laughs> sorry but these are some things that i have bought that i can show you so i'll start with bath and body works so bath and body works we don't have them in the uk sadly although we do have in my nearest like shopping centre, which is West Quay in Southampton, they have got a Bath and Body Works section in Next, but it doesn't do the things that I always get when I'm at Bath, Bath and Body Works in like the States or in Canada. So I wanted to just stock up on things that I want to get. And they are the really small hand sanitizers. I love them, I always use them, always have one in like every single bag that I own, just in case I swap bags go out, there's always one there handy. So in Bath and Body Works, you can, the last time I went actually, it was back in 2020, just before COVID, they do like, they do like a, a deal, five of these, they had them last time, five for $12. So we thought, okay, Inflation, it's gonna be a lot more than $12 this time, maybe like 15, 18 dollars. It's gone down in price. It was five for eight dollars. I cannot even tell you, that's amazing. So I bought 10. <laughs> so I bought 10 of these. Um, and I also got, this was on sale, a fragrance mist, which I've been using. It's called Firecracker Pop. And it almost smells like cherry. But it is really nice it's really refreshing as well this i think was about two dollars from like 10 so that's really good but yeah and then i got just a whole bag <laughs> of um hand sanitizers and they're all really nice really nice smells i can describe a few of them that says crisp morning air and it just smells like fresh linen um, what else have I got? Champagne toast. It smells like like a sweet champagne. Um, I got a couple of the same ones. Sunshine and lemons. That smells more like orange than lemon. <laughs> um, I just realized I did have 10, but my mum took two because <laughs> I offered her two. So I don't have 10 now. <laughs> that's ocean and that smells like 
men's aftershave. Have I got a men? Have I just realised I've got a men's one there? Yeah. It says Ocean, the men's collection. So I might give this to Dad. <laughs> but they do some really, really nice ones. Oh, what's that one? Marshmallow Treat. This is going to be really sweet. Oh, that does really smell like marshmallow though. Like almost like toasted marshmallow. But yeah, these, I always get them. Um, Sophie got, I think, 10 as well. She got other things as well. But yeah, whenever I'm in Bath and Body Works, I always have to get at least five of them or whatever they're doing a deal on for. So I got these. So that was my first purchase on this holiday. I also got, so we went to, on the same day we went to Bath and Body Works, we actually went to another premium outlet store nearer International Drive, which is like Universal Way. And I mean, I've gone to, two, I've been to both character warehouses, which are these two bags. But I'll show you the first one we went into. And as I said, these are like discounted items, maybe things from like the 50th anniversary or it's got a specific date on it. There are a lot of food and wine festival 2022 merchandise. So they'll obviously discount those because it's no longer 22. But still, I think it's really good if you want anything merchandise that you don't want to pay ridiculous amounts for because Disney is very expensive. And yes, that the, you know, it's good quality. It's it's you know sentimental it's a good it's good memorabilia to put for your holiday but sometimes i don't want to pay 60 dollars for a t-shirt so <laughs> and i'm sure no one else does as well i mean if you're really that into disney then definitely do it i mean sophie's very into disney she's bought a load of stuff already as well as going to the warehouse but yeah i'm not like a ridiculous obsessed fanatic i just love disney and the merchandise and i love the the clothing and you know the, the accessories they do lots of nice christmas stuff as well so i'll show you what i got here i got three things from the first warehouse this is the first thing i got which is a t-shirt that says royalty because they are all the disney princesses i think obviously there's going to be a couple more now because we're introducing some new you know, inclusive, diverse characters, which I think is amazing. But these, I think, are what they call the classic ones that were obviously the many, many years ago, <laughs> those princesses. I got a cute, like, crop top thing. I would say it's a crop, yeah, it's a crop top with Minnie Mouse on it. Oh, I'll tell you the prices, actually, because this is good. So this royalty t-shirt was $40.00. I got it for $14.99. <laughs> Amazing, such a good price. And this crop top, that was also $40, even though it's a tiny bit of material. This is $12.99. So again, a good price there. And then I found this, which I did not think I'd find at all because this is essentially what they're still selling in the normal Disney stores for normal prices. A Minnie Mouse where it's got, well, Disney World, like a, it's like a sweater, sweatshirt. I'll just call it a jumper. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I think it's a size medium. I got it in a size medium. The normal, the standard price for this is $45. I got it for 20, which I think is really good. That's good for like, cool evenings because obviously in England it's just cold 24 7 but yeah, I was thinking I can wear that around the house maybe at work as well and show everyone that I've been to Disney <laughs> but yeah so those three things came to like $35 which is very good three things for 35 and then I'll show you the things that I actually got just about a couple of hours ago because we went to the other character warehouse I think I got three things again I got, first of all, this t-shirt that says Walt Disney World. Love that. Just a nice plain one that I, I just love whenever it says Walt Disney World on it. I just think it's really cool that it says it on there. Um, what was the price of this one? Normal price, $40. Got it for $14.99 again. So another really good price. And it doesn't feel cheap material. It, they you know they're good quality they're not sort of tat <laughs> as people may think they are but yeah that's the first thing i also got 
an Epcot t-shirt. So this is what I was talking about when they have like old dates on it. So it's a bit outdated. When I say outdated, meaning things that may have happened or they may have celebrated in the last couple of years. So they'll obviously discount those because the date's still on them. This is an Epcot 40, meaning I think it means 40 years of Epcot, I'm guessing. I don't actually know when that was though. I think it was last year or the year before, but still to me, I'm happy with that because it says Epcot on it <laughs> and I love Epcot. It's definitely one of the best parks there. And this was $40, got it for $19.99. So $20 for an Epcot t-shirt. And it's long sleeve as well. I don't really wear long sleeves, but I think in the UK, I, I need more long sleeve t-shirts. That's probably why I'm cold all the time. <laughs> so that's that one. And then I found this absolute bargain of a jumper, which this was the only one they had in the whole store and it was the only one and it was in my size. <laughs> so I'm so thrilled. A Walt Disney World jumper. And it's got Walt Disney World on the hood there as well. And it's Mickey Mouse, size small, it's got pockets. Love it. This was literally the only one hanging on the hanger on that section. And I was like, oh, that's definitely not gonna be my size though. Looked at it, size small, my size. And this was normal price, $70, got it for 25. Like how amazing is that? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> if you're ever in Orlando, I would definitely go to the character warehouses, both of them. The one in the one on Vineland, Vineland, which is closer to Disney, is a bigger store and they have, I think, a lot more, like just a lot more of everything. Um, it is a, a bit a bit like sort of every man for himself. You do go in and everyone's pushing and shoving and there's stuff on the floor everywhere. If you if you're watching this from the UK, it's similar to sometimes when you go into Primark and everyone's pushing and shoving and there's clothes on the floor and things like that. It's a bit like that. <laughs> but I would definitely go there because if you don't want to pay full price for something but you do want something Disney, go there because you can get all sorts there. There's loads of um, like cups, mugs, drinking, like flasks, so many of them. I personally am not really much of a like drinker from a flask. I don't really like, when I go to work, I just bring in a mug, I don't bring in a proper flask. But if you do, like my sister drinks a lot of, she she brings a lot of like mugs around and like this like, I think she calls them Stanley cups you can get as well, like, sort of like similarly to, to that. There's so much in there, Christmas decorations. They've got stuff for pets as well, like you can get like collars, little like sweatshirts for your dog, really, really nice stuff. So definitely go to both character warehouses. And then when we were at Universal, I also got a couple of things, as you saw on the vlog that I did yesterday. I just showed you the bag, <laughs> but I did buy a couple of things. So I'll show you that as well. I got, I think I got two things. You know when you can't actually remember what you got, like exactly the description of what they were. <laughs> I know it was a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. Okay, got a t-shirt that says Universal Studios on it. I always, when I go somewhere like that, I always want something with the actual name on it. Just to say I've been there and I can wear it and just like, you know, so I can reminisce and remind myself that I've been to something so amazing as Universal. This was $30, so not too badly priced. I will say, having looked at both like the main Disney stores, you know, like the full priced ones, and the main Universal stores in, in the parks. Universal is definitely cheaper by, you know, sometimes like 20, $30 for one thing as well. So I would say Disney's more expensive for their merchandise. And then I also got a Gryffindor sweatshirt because I do love Harry Potter. And yes, before anyone asks, I'm not actually Gryffindor, sadly. <laughs> I, when I did Pottermore years ago, I was sorted, I think, into Hufflepuff. But I like Hufflepuff. I like the colours, like the yellow. But for me, I, I like the red and the grey. So I was like, well, I'll just get Gryffindor one then. <laughs> so if anyone asks, I am Gryffindor, but I'm actually not. <laughs> I do, I really also like Slytherin because I love the, like the, 
dark green. I love that about the Slytherin colours. But I know people are just going to judge if I buy anything from Slytherin. Because they'll be like, well, why have you just bought stuff from, like, the evil, like, the evil group? <laughs> but no. That was... Oh, how much was that, actually? I can't remember. I've just folded it now. Let me tell you how much it is. It's probably worth saying, isn't it? It doesn't actually say. I think it was 55 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 35 It was on offer. That's why I got it. I remember now. This was 70 and I got it for 35 That's why I bought it, because it was half price. So... $35 I got that for. Very good. So that's everything that I got that I can show you. <laughs> Again, I did buy some Coke stuff. I think I got a t-shirt that says Coca-Cola on it and then I got some fluffy socks that said Coca-Cola on it. I could have bought a whole lot more because that was like an amazing store, but it was quite pricey and like I don't want to buy everything that says Coke on it. I'd rather go and buy some maybe cheap discount stuff. <laughs> because I do love a bargain. I also wanted to talk about um, Hagrid's because I remember I did film a bit saying it was the best ride I've ever been on then I said I'll talk about it later and then I just came back and went to bed. <laughs> so I just wanted to just take a moment to just tell you how amazing that ride is. So if anyone doesn't know Hagrid's is a fairly new coaster I would say it's fairly new it's been there I think about three years two years something like that but it was where dueling dragons used to be or dragon challenge and that got obviously taken down and replaced with Hagrid's Hagrid's magical creature motorbike adventure that's the official name of the ride everyone just calls it Hagrid's because it's too long to say but it's like a roller coaster you some there's it's like a two like a, a thing for two one sits in the motorbike part and one person sits in the sidecar just like in the films and you basically go around the forest or areas and Hagrid's just there talking to you really <laughs> but it's so it is a high speed thrilling roller coaster there's a lot of launches there's drops it does drop like that it goes backwards there's no inversions or anything but it is a very thrilling coaster but that being said, it wasn't scary, wasn't ridiculously intense. I was loving it the whole way through. My mum went on it before I did. And she came off just saying like, I want to go on it again. It's the best ride I've ever been on. I didn't want to get off. I was like, oh my God, okay. So then when I went on it, I felt exactly the same. It was, an, it, oh my God, I just don't even have the words. It was the best ride, I think that's ever been created. Like hats off to whoever invented that coaster because they did a cracking job. It was such a good roller coaster. What I will say though is the downside to it is there's only, there's one standby entrance, there's no express entrance. So the queue is automatically going to be longer. And the issue we had, when we went, when I went on it, we went on it a bit later on in the day. It was probably about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. It hadn't, it had just closed because of weather. So if you don't know, any rides that are outside, they have to close during um, like thunder and lightning. If it rains, they continue, they're allowed to, but it's just thunder and lightning, they have to shut the ride down. We were waiting probably about an hour outside the ride. Everyone started gathering over right up like to the like fence bit where you can go. And we saw like the, the cast members sort of walking around, having a bit of a chat, like talking on a walkie talkie. We were like, okay, something's happening. It's definitely gonna reopen. Let's hang about here because we wanted to ride it. And this was the only way to get on it quick enough without having to like really queue because the queue is always, we even like up until the holiday, we were looking every day, the queue was probably like 90 minutes to two hours, like all day, every day. So we thought, okay, the best way we're going to get on it without queuing that long is wait until the weather stopped, wait until it reopens, and we can just hop in line and go straight on. Everyone else, I think, got the same idea. So we were all hanging about. It got to about three o'clock. We heard, because we were right by where the staff um, staff members were, like, like the workers, we heard over their walkie-talkie, we're good to go. So we were like, okay, right, it's going to reopen, definitely. 
their system of opening the line again to let people on was abysmal. It was to the point where it was dangerous and people were getting injured. Instead of letting people on normally, just opening a, you know, a line and just letting people join a, like, you know, an orderly queue, they opened the lockers sections first because we're on that ride and many other rides at Universal, you cannot take any loose items with you. You have to put them in a locker that's free, but you have to store them in a locker. We had stored everything with dad because dad is best thing to do, bring a non-rider to these parks. You don't have to do the locker thing, just leave them with someone. We, so we were thinking, okay, well, we don't need a locker, so we'll just go straight through. And I think everyone else had that same idea that they were gonna open up two entrances. One's for people with lockers or need that needs lockers and one for people that can just go on to make it easier. No, they made everyone go through one entrance. The locker space was small anyway, but they were allowing everyone in, even the people that were pushing and shoving that didn't even need a locker through. We were being pushed from people behind us to the point where I was really, really scared. <laughs> um, someone, this man pushed everyone past um, a locker because he wanted to get to a locker and people were being pushed up against the lockers like that. Uh, people were shouting, p telling people to calm down. The staff members were trying their best to sort of, you know, keep enforce these rules of, you know, don't push, don't shove, but people don't listen we did we were really trying to you know stop pushing we were holding on to each other by like our hair just to make sure that we were all okay but yeah there, there was a few people that didn't care about anyone but themselves they wanted to get a locker they wanted to get in the queue they would push people out elbow people out the way to get in and during the towards the end of the line um, just as we were about to go on the ride, we did see someone who was complaining to a staff member. My mum quickly spoke to her and said, Look, I want to complain. What can I ask what you, what, you know, what you said? And she said, well, a person pushed her young son out the way and said, um, move your fat ass out the way. I want to get in the queue and pushed him, physically pushed him. So she complained and said, look, you, I know it's not your fault. You can't really stop it, but you need to enforce the rules. You need to have stricter rules. After the ride, my mum went up to one of the staff members and said the same thing. They were really good and apologised and actually offered, you know, to listen to a suggestion. Mum said, you need to make it better queuing system. Have one queue for people without the need for lockers, one queue for people that need to go in a locker. Straightforward that way is the easiest thing to do because then there's going to be more room for people that need to get a locker without us in the way of just pushing and shoving. She said it is difficult with that system because people don't listen so people will probably get in a queue where they need a locker but get in the wrong queue and mum says she, you know we understand but that's where you, the cast members come in and enforce that and make it clear to them and make it ridiculously strict because that could cause injury um and we found out they do that that's what they do every single time the ride reopens they haven't changed it and we think people have probably come away from that really injured you know, whether it's an elbow in the face, put, being pushed head back against a locker, it happens, we saw it happen. So it was very, it was dangerous and it was a really bad impression on Universal because if that's what they're doing and if that's what they're allowing, my mum even said they should get a risk assessor come in and do a risk assessment of that process and they would definitely failed everything. So that was a, quite a bad part on Universal, like not very good at all, but at the end of the day, we got on, we didn't queue very long, probably 10 minutes. Ride was amazing, definitely go on it again. I don't wanna say that's like a like a negative thing about Universal, but it was quite bad and, and I'm still thinking of the positives. The ride was amazing, I'll definitely go on it again. <laughs> but just bear that in mind, if you want to go on a ride once the ride reopens from weather, just be aware that that might be the process and the system that they have set up, so just be careful. Anyway, that was the best ride I've ever been on. I knew I wanted to go on it just before I came on holiday because I was Googling, I was watching it on YouTube. Yeah, and the hype, I completely understand now. Every The reason why it's so busy is because it is such a good ride. The, just the best ride ever. So well done, Universal. So it is a couple of hours later. We have eaten some food, we went to the kickback at the hotel and now we are just walking to some 
classic Orlando Disney gift tat shops as we call them. If you've been to Orlando before, especially around like the Disney area, along like the I-4, along those sort of inter, what are they called? Interstates or intersections? Interstate 4? The I-4. <laughs> There's loads of these gift shops all up and down. They're basically discounted Disney and things like that shop like gifts and stuff that are really really heavily discounted they're not proper Disney but they're really cheap dad loves them because he can get some t-shirts for like two dollars <laughs> instead of like fifty two dollars like the actual Disney stuff so and they have some funny ones as well me and Soph last time we were here we got t-shirts that said instead of thing one and thing two bitch one and bitch two apologies for the foul language <laughs> but it's a nice area where we're walking i mean we are still technically on disney property we've just come out of a hotel our hotel is just that one there you can see it and where these tap shops are it's about a 10 minute walk so we're just going for a walk but we are looking at the clouds at the top <laughs> It might rain. We are just officially coming out of Disney property. That's what you see when you come in. I love this look, look at that. This is what an awesome wife looks like. I might have to get that one. <laughs> I'm gonna get that one. There's some funny ones. Thing one, dad, mum. $14.99. They're not expensive, but I wouldn't say they're as cheap as chips. Look at all of these thing one and thing two t shirts. Dad's loving life. That's nice. Extra large for me here. <laughs> This just goes on and on. <laughs> it doesn't end. There's so much stuff here to look at. I don't even know where I'm looking. There's some cute children's clothes here. Oh, I found the family. There's some really cute Disney stuff here. $16.99 still think they're a bit more expensive than they used to be last time we were here you could get a t-shirt like this for like five dollars and it's now $16.99 it's a nice mug it's quite heavy We've just left that first one. Sophie bought some saltwater taffy. <laughs> and mum's bought some magnets. Oh, and a fridge magnet. And there's one across there. So we might go in that one as well. Because dad has yet to find a cheap t-shirt that he wants to buy. Just walking past a Denny's. Which we went in last time. Nice classic American diner. And up ahead here is an olive garden, which we have not been to, but we've heard that the breadsticks are nice. So we've just come in our second tat gift shop. And it looks fairly similar, but there are some nice things here that we weren't in the other place. Some nice bags. Oh, they're nice bags. That's going to probably be expensive, isn't it? $79. No. I like these pajamas. Oh, $25. No. I'm not spending $25. I just can't do it. These suitcases are nice, but they are very pricey. $79. No. To me, that is not cheap. I'll pay five dollars for a suitcase. So the person that wanted to come to these tat shops, shops, 
It's the person who's come away with nothing. <laughs> the tat is too expensive. Even for dad, the tat is too expensive. Last, he, last time I came here, it was only one dollar. But he has seen a nice t-shirt in Hollywood Studios for thirty dollars, which you'll happily pay. <laughs> I'm not paying six dollars for a t-shirt here. <laughs> walking back to our hotel now which is just this one here mum dad and matt have gone to another bargain shop that they saw called bargain world although i don't think it will be bargains 